Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your bro, hope you're doing well. And in this video, I'm going to explain how we can pass objects as arguments. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. If you find this video helpful, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Your support will help keep this channel running. Ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, I'm going to be demonstrating how we can pass objects as arguments. For this example, let's say we have a class car and there is one class variable called color. Color equals none. What we'll be doing is calling a function that accepts an object as an argument as well as a color. So let's create a function named change color. Now make sure when you define this function, it's not within the car class, then technically this would be a method of the car class. What we would like is a separate function outside of the car class. Now we need to set up some parameters. We would like to accept a car object as well as a color. So for the first parameter, let's say car and make sure this is in uppercase or capital because Python doesn't like that. Argument names should be lowercase. So when we pass in a car, we will give it a nickname of car. And we would also like to pass in a color. So let's set up a parameter called color. Now, when we pass in a car, we will assign that car's color with whatever color that we receive. So car dot color equals color. And now let's create some car objects. So let's say car one equals car, car two equals car, and car three equals car. Currently, if I were to print their colors, this is what we'll see. Print car one dot color and repeat the steps for two and three. And we're not calling this function yet. So all of these colors should be set to none. They are basically cars with no color. They're, I don't know, iron or something whatever cars are made out of aluminum, plastic, stuff like that. Okay, so now let's call this function change color, perhaps right here. So in order to call this function, we need to pass in a car object as well as a color. So let's pass in car one and a color, perhaps red. And we'll repeat the steps for two and three. So let's say car two will be white and car three will be blue. Now, after calling this function, we have a car object and a color, and we're assigning the color of our car to whatever color that we receive. Now, these cars in order, car one, two, and three, are red, white, and blue. Now, one thing that you should know is that the name of this parameter that accepts our object doesn't necessarily need the same name as the class name that created the object that we're passing in. We could name this something else entirely, perhaps vehicle. You'll just want to be sure that this is at least descriptive of the kind of object that you would like to pass in. And we're not limited to just passing in car objects. We can pass in all sorts of objects, but we need to pass in an object as well as a color. So this time let's create a class called motorcycle. Class motorcycle. And this class will also have a color set to none. So what we're doing is actually reusing this function for all sorts of different kinds of vehicles. Now let's create a vehicle. I'll just name this bike one for short. Bike one equals motorcycle. Now let's call the change color function and we can pass in an object as well as color. This time we will pass in our bike object as well as a color. I think black counts as a color and let's print bike one's color. And this should work. We have red, white, blue, and black. In conclusion, we can pass objects as arguments to a function, much like what we've been doing with variables. However, the type of objects that we pass in may be limited based on the required attributes and methods that that given class or object might have. And we'll get more into this on the next video on duct typing. So if you would like a copy of all this code, I will post all of this in the comment section down below. But yeah, that is how to pass objects as arguments using Python.